Welcome to For Breakfast. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Neoverse, the first game we're looking at for 2019. Yes, we're dropping the indie and we're going to go with just For Breakfast. Makes it a little bit more flexible. We could cover more games, different, uh, doesn't matter where they're from. And plus, the, the whole line between what's indie and what's AAA and what's kind of in the middle road or whatever, because maybe it's an indie, indie developer, but it's a AAA publisher. Uh, the line's getting so blurry. Let's just go ahead and just drop the indie part for breakfast. We can cover anything we want. I'm so excited to be able to do this. Now, the first game up, I'm actually very excited to cover because last night I was just randomly surfing through uh, to Steam. I was like, you know what? Let me pick up a game that uh, that's new. I want I, want, I don't want to interview. I don't want to review a game from last year. That's so long ago. It's current year. Time for a current year game. And so that's why I did. I picked this game called Neoverse. It just came out in early access. Seventeen dollars ninety nine cents. Kind of an odd price point there, but I think it's fine. Uh, and holy shit, am I loving this? It's Waifu Slay the Spire. That's 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 it. If you played Slay, Slay the Spire, if you watch like uh, Northern Lion or something like that, like play Slay the Spire, then you already know what I'm talking about when I say Waifu version of that. So I'll go ahead and new game here. It is a roguelike. For those guys who haven't, are not familiar with Slay the Spire, uh, it is a roguelike card game, battle game, card slash battle game. Uh, it does feel, it does have the, the kind of like a Final Fantasy feel with the way the combat, the battle scenes are actually uh, played out, but the actual gameplay itself uh, are all determined by cards in your deck. So I'm going to cover, uh, in this episode, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover Agent Naya. And then what I'll do is for the Patreon subscribers, I'll do a ne an extra video for uh, Pallet and Claire and Summoner Helena, who's got the jiggle fix his fizz is going on. It's pretty, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, really, dude? <laughs> but just so you know, Clara, who has armor, which in any other game would still somehow jiggle. She does not jiggle, no jiggling, there you go. And also Naya, if she's wearing like a metallic super skin type thing, I would be really surprised if they jiggled at all. This is not Miranda, Miranda Lawson here, guys. This is, uh, this is legit, legit space suit. Now, each one has a very unique play style. They have their own decks, uh, their own cards, only evolves, all that good stuff. Uh, Agent Naya focuses a little bit more on uh, radiation debuffs. Uh, she also has an overheat mechanic that applies to herself. Uh, over here with uh, Claire. Claire actually has a vampiric she, First of all, she mostly deals with uh, lifesteal type abilities. Uh, she does damage, but she also can give damage based off of defense uh, abilities. And uh, so, like, for example, if you get if, if you build up something called punishment and you get hit, then you're going to do damage to uh, kind of like thorns damage to the uh, attacking uh, attacking uh, opponents. Uh, and then, of course, there's a vampiric state, which allows you to when you when you perform attacks will uh, actually heal you it's a lifesteal effect uh, some abilities are not able to be used uh, unless you're in a vampiric state so you kind of sometimes you get stuck with cards in your hand that you can't even use uh, and then over here with uh, Helena Helena's actually probably one of my favorites uh, not because of jiggle physics but because the way that she plays she's it's a very uh, it's a very defensive kind of oriented uh, gameplay style but uh, her she seems to basically uh, build up as you go along because you start off just by yourself and she could summon a guardian it could be uh, a griffin it could be a dragon it could be uh, a lion and each one has a different ability and then you could trigger those abilities that as you unlock more cards uh, like right in the middle of a match instead of at the end of a round so at the end of a round usually what it'll do is like the griffin for example will give you x amount of armor uh, and also do like three damage to like or one damage to like a random uh, enemy Whereas, uh, if, if, so if I had a card that said trigger now, then I can, or it's called order. Yeah, if you basically order them to perform that ability now, then you could basically double up on that. So I could trigger the Drift Griffin to give me five points of bonus armor, and then uh, it'll activate at the end of the round. So I'll go into the next round with 10, uh, 10 bonus armor, or 10 armor. Uh, that basically cost me uh, essentially just one, just one mana. So if you played, if you played Hearthstone, you're very familiar with this, this game mechanics too. It kind of puts more of a, uh, Final Fantasy battling battle mode style twist uh, on uh, on that as well. Again, I can't really expect all of you guys to have ever played uh, Slay the Spire. Sh I haven't even played Slay the Spire. I've watched other people play it, but that's about it. So, like any roguelike, especially ones like this, where you have a set number of battles to get to the boss, you always have set number of encounters, right? Like FTL. FTL is a set number of encounters that you have to go through in order before you get to the end. Uh, this is basically the same thing, and you don't know what you're going to get for each one. And this one, it says, there are things I could do. These are the things I could do using the energy from the previous journey. 
So H. Oh, so I, I guess I did enough of my last playthrough. I played this game for like three hours now. <laughs> last night I was up super late playing this, and I was loving every second of it. Uh, let's see. Max HP increased by 20%. Receive Hindrance card Nightmare. Nightmare. What Nightmare does is a Hindrance card that basically means that it does nothing to benefit you. Uh, and in some, in some cases, it can actually hurt you, uh, but it, co it has a cost to it. And the cost can vary. It could be mana, or it could be, in the case of Nightmare, Nightmare actually shows up. You can't get rid of it. Uh, it shows up right when you start. So you're very so right off the bat, you have a card you can't play in your hand. So that's basically the uh, the detriment to using Nightmare. Now it's max HP increased by twenty percent. That's pretty significant. Uh, but that Nightmare card sucks. Let's take it. Let's take it because you can get rid of them as you go. Item received. Max HP sixteen. All right. By the way, this song is awesome. Made by someone called The Boogeyman. I, I shazammed it and it came up and the song isn't even released. As of this recording, it's not even released yet. I think it releases today, actually. Maybe it may releases today. Okay, so fine. So, so so last night it wasn't released. I was like, oh shit, I'm from the future. Let's see, battle mode, challenge mode, battle mode, regular mode, okay? Challenge mode, hard mode, got it? Cool. Now that was chapter one of three. Uh, I am, uh, each, in each chapter, uh, you have X number of encounters. This one you have 12. Uh, the next chapter, which I've gotten to, uh, also has 12 encounters. I actually got to the boss of the second chapter uh, and I did not do very well. <laughs> I did not do very well at all. So there's a nightmare card. As you, as you can see, it gets played right away and I can't get rid of it. There's no mana cost, so I cannot play it. This card cannot be used. Damn, she says. And then over here, let's see, I have guard. I uh, see I decrease one point's overheat. So when you do attacks, sometimes you, depending on the attack, this is like a regular ass attack, let's do that. Basically go through, boom. Do this, this will apply radio uh, radioactivity to the target. Radioactivity will decrease his health by two points uh, on the next turn, and it will decrease uh, on the next turn. So on the next round, it'll decrease. So, so I can basically keep on stacking if I wanted to, uh, or I can uh, just keep, keep basically let, let it let it just sit there and use it to my advantage. Some cards will actually do more damage if they have radioactive uh, debuff on them. Uh, I just also look right here. It tells you literally what they're gonna do. So this is at first I was kind of like, well, that's kind of that's kind of silly because now I know what the opponent's gonna do, right? Like in Hearthstone, you don't really know what the guy's gonna do, right? In this case, you do, but it makes sense though because you need to be able to plan accordingly. Because you, so basically, where the game modes go is depending on what that person's going to do. You determine whether or not you're going to go on the offensive or if you're going on the defensive. Uh, in this case, there's nothing I could do right now to stop uh, him from uh, hitting me with a couple points of amplify, which I think do like 25 percent, 25 percent per per implementation of weaken uh, or of amplify. And what that means is not necessarily like 25 percent and then another 25 percent. It's 25% and then of that total, that new total, it's another 25% off that. I did that math basically off of uh, eight. I had an eight damage card that 25% off that makes it six, but another 25% off actually rounded it up to five. So that's how I know that it's like basically year over or uh, uh, point over point versus being uh, off of the original total. So, you right, that makes sense? I think that makes sense. <laughs> I did a lot of sciencing on this last night because I was loving it so much and I was just like trying a bunch of random shit. I was like, I need to know everything about this game. So he's gonna apply that amplify. And you'll see right here, it'll say uh, receive 25% more damage. So I gotta be careful because now he's gonna do 19 damage. And there's no way I can get rid of this because I don't have a card or anything to get rid of it. So now it's basic I'm basically moving into I can I can move into a defensive state. So just just because you guys are here, uh, I can kill him right now with these two cards, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and move into a defensive state so you can see just how much damage he can actually end up doing here. and drop all the oh nightmare card rip <laughs> or, or i get to finish off right now i'll show you guys later <laughs> all right victory I get golds and i got a new card hey inflect five points of radioactivity hey uh, see so you'll see inflict one, one points of decay similar card back to the okay this one i've had this before here's the evolved state right here you guys actually see inflict seven points of radioactivity there's a card uh that i had last night that would uh inflict Two times the radioactive, uh, yeah, it was two times the radioactive uh, 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 damage or radioactive debuff amount. It was crazy. By the way, most of the artwork seems pretty much done. It's an early access game, but I mean, it seems pretty fucking fleshed out. Some of the UI elements could use a little bit of work. Uh, you can control it with the uh, uh, the keyboard if you wanted to. You'll see when, uh, when we get in the match. Uh, you'll see that in action there. You can't use a controller with it. I feel like it should work with a controller. If my Final Fantasy controller just kind of move the 
move the uh, uh, cursor around the menu and all that, or the uh, the screen. Uh, it does seem like when I say some of the artwork is finished, I mean like I don't know if this like this lawnmower shot is gonna make it to the final cut. <laughs> also, what the hell is Molon? <laughs> what is this? Oh, let's see, it was, I can't afford it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, skill points. Oh, we should get into skill points. Uh, should I spend money to get into skill points, or should we just wait? Let me see. We should actually we should spend money to get into skill points. Actually, but next, let me see. Supply crate. Oh, I guess let me get some, some supply crate. Here we go. We get some some loot already. Look at this. Ah, skill. Oh, perfect. Receive supplies. So at any point, at any point, I could go through and uh, and apply this. Click right here, and I have random skills. Let's see, this one, so basically some of them you can see and some of them are random. I've never unlocked these before, so therefore I cannot see them. I believe that's the way it works because I this one I previously could not see and then I unlocked it and now I can see it. So I think you have to unlock them first and then you can see them uh, every playthrough thereafter. Uh, oh, this actually tells you, actually they're telling you what, it, what they are. They don't tell you all the time, this must be a bug. <laughs> I swear, not all of them uh, show you what they are. Maybe I've actually unlocked these before and then, uh, yeah, they're... They're showing me, but not showing the icon. Oh, it's going to obtain increased max HP by 15. Oh, wow. Wow, on top of my already massive HP? That sounds crazy. Let's do that. And I don't have enough to do anything else, which is fine. The ranges differ as well, by the way. So, like, uh, different uh, different classes, like, different characters have different uh, skills. It's, like, a completely different gameplay style for each class, like, all the way down to the skills. It's crazy. There's a lot of work that's been put into this game. Pretty, pretty uh, impressed by it. So let's see, I can actually go here. I can evolve a card to recover HP. I think just for the sake of this video, let's see how far we could go, right? So let's go ahead and drop an uh, HP on it. That'll top us off. I think it was 44, is that what it said? Holy crap. Uh, elite battle and normal battle. Let's do a normal battle. We're not quite that advanced, guys. <laughs> We're not quite that advanced. I've got three and a half hours in this title. <laughs> I'm crazy, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and drop. Uh, we we'll defend against this right here, basically. So they're now basically immune to that attack. I can start attacking him. Uh, radioactivities, drop that on him. I don't. I really wish I had that ability that that would stack that radioactivity, that nightmare card. I should get rid of that next opportunity I have here. Turn us up. Let's see. So yeah, basically nothing. Radioactivity. Uh, oh, that'll be applied. I think that was eaten by the um by the shield too. Actually, sweet. Let me see. Let's go ahead and stack some more on him. He's going to play anything, a side effect. So he's going to play basically any, some kind of random card. It's probably going to be a card that if I remove it from, or put it back in my deck by use, by spending mana on it, uh, to basically get it out of my hand, that he will, he will increase by two force or something, which basically gives him plus two attack, uh, on everything here. So let's go ahead. We can't defend against that. We have to basically let it, just basically let it happen and then figure out a way to get rid of it later. Let's keep on stacking this. Keep on stacking this. 18, man, see, it doesn't matter. He's going to die. He's gonna die. I could just basically this is it. Because 19 19 radioactivity, 19 health. See ya. That's how that's how you play. Right there. Let's see. Boosting shoes, increase shield by amount equal to uh current radioactivity points. Ooh, sweet. Uh deal 16 damage. This card can only be used when there are no shooting cards in hand. I've had this before. It is amazing. Simultaneously, also a huge pain in the dick because like so sometimes you just don't you just don't get uh uh, you don't get rid of your shooting cards. You don't have enough defense cards. So we're not going to get that one. Uh, boosting shoes increase shield by mana. And what does it increase to? There's no evolve for that. I want to get something that has a nice evolve to it. A few points decay. 20 damage. Hey, let's go give it a shot. This could be this could be our strike. Our final our ex, our execute move. Let's see. Purchase cards, items, skill point. I don't really have... Uh, I can't really do anything. Let's go ahead and battle here. Two enemies, 60 health each. One is going to attack me for nine. The other one's going to apply uh, radioactivity to everybody in battle. So obviously it includes themselves. I uh, see. Exposure, radioactivity. Let's go ahead and start stacking this on this dude. Well, first let's actually go through and negate that initial damage he's going to do. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do this. More radioactivity. And then... What if I should... Uh, one point's overheat. No, actually, I don't need to do that. Nine. Yeah, I'm good. The radioactivity, no, no, he'll apply that after the fact, so it's not going to have an impact on me. Upper left corner, I explain all this stuff, so this basically just shows where you're at at the chapter and stage. That's all. Chapter 1, dash 6. This is how much total battle time you've had. Uh, over here, this basically shows you the steps that you've taken to get here. Do, 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 and how many steps you have until the boss. Uh, I, I never use the screen. You, you're never going to use the screen. You, you know where you're at. You're at 1, 6. These are your buffs. 
Uh, there are going to be lists on the left hand side, so as you get going, you can have a pretty good row of these things. Uh, down here, this is basically how many cards you have in your draw pile, and this is the, the used card pile. Once the used card pile is full, or actually I should say once the draw pile is empty, then hopefully you're not in the middle of a turn. If you're in the middle of a turn, then you're kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> because then you're gonna have to figure out a way to uh, to survive without having the um, uh, or to basically make it to the next turn without having any cards to draw from just deal with what's in your hand you'll probably see that a couple times maybe at least once during this episode here so he's gonna play a side effect create another side effect this guy's gonna do nine damage I have no no negating anywhere let's go ahead and try to spend some of these things here oh man I can see that soul attack coming oh dang it ah so close and it, here's the thing that sucks, I end up losing it. So see, three damage, five times, increase one point, so overheat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of damage there. Or I could just heal up and just basically save that, conserve that health. I won't kill him. Actually, I will kill him if I use that. He's gonna take 12, 20 damage. He's gonna use what side effect card. You know what, let's get it. I don't want that side effect card. So this will definitely do him in here. Before he gives me whatever that side effect card is. The side effect cards will disappear when you move on to the next round, by the way. They're not permanent or anything like that. Let's go ahead and negate that initial damage here, because I'm not going to kill him on this turn. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, that's close enough. Let's go ahead and start inflicting radioactivity. One. Ah, there we go. Now, now I am protected. See? See? This card is kill- it kills me every time. Every time! Just like, please, please shoot cards, go away! Let's see, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna radioactivity and that's it, huh? Okay, cool, this is good, it's a good opportunity, we could basically just sit here and just... We'll just put as much radioactivity as we can on him, because that's gonna do more damage at the end of the rounds. Uh, and then, let's see, let's use the one here. And hope we get another, damn. He's one, I hope we get another one, radioactivity, okay, it's fine. It's perfect, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, gold! And, uh, oh, cut! Oh, I love cut! Oh, well, hold on a second. Deal 7 damage, create the same card when used. You increase 1 points, overheat. Oh! Create the same card when used. What's the evolve on that? Damn. This thing I like because it deals basically, yeah, it just, it's a free card that deals damage and inflicts uh, radioactivity. It's just a free card. That's it. I really like this card. That's a tough one. Deal 7 damage, create the same card when used. Increase 1 points, overheat. Let's go with this, though. This is new to me. Let me see, lab, let's see, let's go ahead and, uh, here we go, perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I would love to evolve a card right now, but I think the best uh, the best thing to do for me to do right now is get rid of this Nightmare card, so see you later. That's all it does. Now we're on the next stage, 1-8, that was 1-7, see, 1-8. A random event, I haven't seen, showed you guys this yet. Story time. It was a flawless white square object. I hear a whisper from the unknown. Oh, cool. This is an easy one. Sometimes they're like, like, like meta FTL. It's just like, oh, something, something's happening. What do you do, right? Choose your adventure. And then the outcome depends on, you know, what you get depends on what choices you make there. There's only so many different story types, though. Like, if I've already uh, come across numerous uh, repeats. So I want to say there's probably like 10 or something, maybe. Unless I'm just having really good luck and getting the same ones over and over again. Uh, let's see. Select and evolve a card or select a ran receive a random card. Let's go and select and evolve a card here. Uh, let's see, one of those, or two, two, two. Should we, like, risk that? Like, risk this thing doing 20 damage, though. That's so, that's crazy. That could, this could be the winning card. I said I was going to do it when I picked it up. I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. On the shooting card. Guns, shooting, I guess, see? Okay. Uh, remove or evolve a card. Oh, I could evolve, evolve another one. Let's do that. We'll get right to the boss here. Let's see, med kit, no. They got 45 HP. Dang. Dang. Uh, let's see, uh, 4x5, five, that's an additional 4 damage, because it's times, um, 5 shots, right, so it's additional, oh no, it's additional 5 damage there. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I try to look at this from the perspective of, like, how much extra damage am I gonna be able to do, uh, per, per evolve, right? So this is 3 damage, 3 damage, but there's no downsides to this, right? There's no, I'm not gonna get any overheat damage on myself, uh, no radioactivity, uh, nothing, nothing crazy. It's just straight up deal 9 damage. Let's see, this one is 11 damage, create the same card. So this is actually really, this could be really, really handy. Again, another, is there a move from this battle when used? This says create the same card when used, increase one point's overheat. So if it's, I mean, if it's removed from battle, then like, how does it replenish it? Oh, I guess we'll see. We still learn a little bit. Let me see, random events. Oh man, this game's not gonna let me, <laughs> it's not gonna let me play. Oh, which is totally fine to see a random event occurs or let's do this. 
This will give me an opportunity to buy one of these and then go and unlock another one of these guys. Let's hope we get something good. Big bucks, no whammies. Upgrade a shield suit. Increase one point of shield for every five defend cards used. I guess it's kind of a nice little extra. It's, it's not. That's not a lot. There's, there's a ton of stuff. I need to talk about items. Increase five points of immunity. Uh, this one is increase two points of force to shield to immunity. And this one is create and add two random cards to your draw pile. So this is basically consumable items that you could place up here. Let's go ahead and actually pick one. Oh, hold on. Deal six damage as many times as the current mana. Dude. That could be 30 damage. Wait, what does the X mean? I don't know what the X means. That's a, that's a whole new card for me. Let's try it. Uh, receive a This game is really trying to usher me right into the boss fight here, man. Let's receive supplies and see what we get. I'm a little worried now. What do we got? Oh, skill points. Good. Perfect. I can do this right before we go into the fight. Let's see. What do we got here? Evolve instant. If an instant card is received, evolve the card. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Not applicable during battle. Oh, man. Okay. So I have to receive the card, I think, during the, uh, the uh, intermission periods in between matches here. Oh, whoa. Let's see here. Uh, constant attack deal five, six damage as many times as the current mana. So see, there it is right there already. He's gonna do 17 damage to me. So as much as I would love to spend this, which I can't because he has, oh, this boss. Oh, I just fought this boss on Claire and I lost because this guy has this uh, lose one mana. This is the yeah, lasting. Lasting means for the entire fight, I'm gonna be down one mana. Oh man, that's a huge pain in the hell. Oh God. Oh, and he's gonna do 17 damage right off the bat. And I have my swine shot card right here. Okay, let's see if I can just armor up here. Damn it! Not, it's not gonna happen. Um, let's see, 16 damage, 18 damage. I mean, that's something. It's better than anything else I have, really. So, probably, use, probably should just use that first. No, because it would have consumed all the rest of my stuff here. So, here we're gonna, we're gonna take a little bit of damage right off the bat. Right here, it says uh, increase one point of shield for every. Uh, for every five defense cards used, he's gonna actually, he's gonna, he's gonna D up. So since he's gonna do that, we're gonna basically go straight up damage on him as much as we can here. Uh, decrease one point of overheat. So let's use something that's gonna cause overheat if we can before we do that. Let's see, we'll do this. Okay, we'll do this. Bring on options here. Okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and throw some radioactivity on him. That's five more. Five, five recurring depleting. So five damage now, four damage next, three damage next round, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do this here. And then you get the card back. Oh, that's what it means. Oh, oh, I could have played that twice. <laughs> I never had that card before. <sighs> All right, so now he's got 22. Now he's gonna go on the offensive here this next round here for sure. Yep, 22 damage, yikes. Let's go and do this. Let's go and do this. We see, basically we're gonna see if we can negate it. Almost, almost. Oh shit, uh, oh, that sucks, of course, of course. I know I have at least two more defense cards in there. Ah, let's see. I guess I'll use this one. I put the card right back in my hand. So I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here to my main, to my health, but not too bad. Still good, still good. Oh man, 30 damage. Oh, he's gonna do 30 damage back, and that uses base. Oh, wait, it says five. There's no way it's gonna let me play this, is it? If it, if it lets me play this, this is gonna be very painful for me. Great. <laughs> it let me play a five. A five man that's a bug. Let me play a five mana card on a four a uh, four mana turn. Well, uh, I'm about to eat it now. <laughs> this is gonna be painful. 27 damage, 50 health after this. Oh. Oh, so close. So close. Uh oh geez, do I have to play a safe route? I play a safe route. Let's throw this guy out there. No, come on. Oh god. Please, it's gonna just keep on letting me do it. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, till six times. Oh, <laughs> well, we might as well play it because we lose nothing from it. Zero. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't inflict radioactivity or something. This card is amazing. So I really, I could just sit here and just do so much damage. Unfortunately, this guy's got 246 health. Opponent's turn. Oh man. And I have so much radioactivity on me. So does he though, so that's good. Uh overheat. Oh geez. This is just not good. So it's 15 damage to 
Really, I need to free up slots to get more. Oh, no, I have one more card in the card pile. Well, let's see what it is. Defense. Might as well throw that on. Okay, now everything else is basically just hoping a prayer here. Here we go. A little bit of radioactivity, a little overheat, so that's a little damage being done here and there. Let's see, constant attack deal six times as many. Yeah, I'm not gonna get through that shield though. Uh, 22 damage coming in. Let me see, I have a bunch of fresh cards in my deck. I should be able to just, just, nope, not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see, six times as many damage as that. Card only be used. See, I'll just tell you right now, you can't do it, right? No, oh, what? Wait, what? As long as I shoot cards in hand. Evolving this card can only be used when there are no shooting cards in hand. I'm a little confused by that one then. Just checking. Might as well. Well, the pain is coming. I have 20 something health. 21 health. Oh god, now he's got so much more happening. Oh god. I'm gonna have to beat him with radioactivity and then defense, really, is what I'm about to do. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's suit up here. Get as much. Should I? God. Uh, T12. Yeah, I'm gonna need it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Damn. Okay, so now let's try this again. Deal 20 damage. This card can only be used when there are no shooting cards in hand. This is a shooting card. This is a shoot. Oh, it's an attack melee card. Okay, so now she's gonna tell me no. Oh, okay. I totally misread that as a, just a basic attack. All right. It's okay. We're learning. We're learning. See, so I want to play something that's going to be maximum amount of damage. It's going to be this, actually, over time. 27. Uh, but he's going to do 27 damage back at me, which is going to leave me at... Uh, oh, God. Plus minus the four. Oh, no. I'm going to be down in single digits. Just barely, though. There it is. Nine. Oh, boy. Oh man. Well, let's uh let's defend. <laughs> let's D up here. And then uh oh there's all the cards I have left. Oh this is rip! <laughs> Why one point! Look at 17 damage and I have oh well the radioactivity is gonna hurt as well. Well let's go ahead and do a little bit of this here. Might as well. Not enough cards! Oh no! Slap! Oh you die! Stage reached. Total battle time 12, which is not. I don't I think the timer stops in between matches. I'm not sure. Oh man. So yeah, let's check this. Let's check this out. Uh, so they have rankings here, which actually. Uh, oh wow. Okay. So cool. So more people bought the game. <laughs> this is basically everybody, right? Uh, so if you go to like Naya and you take a look at this, like everybody's played Naya at least a little bit. Um, and last last uh, last night there was only like six people on the uh, on the list here. Uh, this guy being at the top actually on the top with him and with Helena too. Yep, with her, so her and Helena. And Claire, you see the top of that? No, actually, so must not have played Claire, Claire yet. I don't know what uh, Transcendent score is yet, but he's got it. I guess just overall score is all it is. Uh, but also has tiers here too. So three, four. Oh, these were not populating last night. So I guess this is something that just recently uh, occurred here. 10, yeah, there you go, cool. Yeah, so last night it was a bit wonky, but it's not today. Uh, let's see, clear time, 21 minutes, oh man. Two hours. Wow, somebody went two hours on it? No, that's because it just took too long. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go. Rankings are reset weekly. Library. It's basically this is all this. Here's actually a good place to go and start to go and research some of the cards and everything. Here's the skills. You can see all the. Here's. I guess I unlocked quite a few here. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are the common ones? Oh, okay. So there are some random skills in there too. Huh? Let me see. Overcharge or is active. Active cards deal one additional damage. Force feed at the beginning of the battle, inflict one point of reactivity to self, which can be handy because if you have radioactivity, radioactivity there are cards that will actually allow you to do more damage based on that. So we go to cards here. Uh, let me see. Evolution info. We'll get to that in a second. Actually, we'll go and toggle it now so you guys can see what the powerful cards look like. More powerful cards. Not everything has a uh, uh, a an evolve version. Some of them will look like they do, but if you read it, there's the exact same thing. Uh, let me see. Here we go, right here. This is This is a good one. Deal 5 damage if the player has radioactivity, inflict 10 more points of radioactivity. So it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> pretty good! Tactical orders at the end of a turn, select and, ret and retain a card. Uh, yeah, man, it's so I've already seen some of these things in play. There's so, so many cards. 
And, and and the thing is, everything I've gotten has felt pretty balanced. I've not I I've, I've had cards where it's like, oh man, like give me a break. Like a nightmare card, injury. Uh, injury is basically like during a turn, uh, it's just another card that gets it played, kind of like the nightmare card. It'll be populated. It'll populate your hand, and you can't play it because it has no mana cost. Uh, no mana cost meaning you just can't be played. Uh, and so yeah, there's just there's so many like different cards. What is a locked card? This card can be unlocked by playing the corresponding character. Oh, interesting. So we have secret cards too. Another one too. Hey, and this is okay. There's quite a few actually. I'm noticing. Whoa. So there's a bunch of cards that I guess um that I guess we'll unlock while we're playing. Would we'll just basically it'll be like in a random card pack or something like that. Yeah, it's funny. The game is actually set up in such a way that you could they could potentially have a cash shop. I would be very disappointed if it had one, <laughs> because I feel like everything is pretty well balanced with just the way it is. Um, but you notice when we were in the store, everything costs a certain amount of gold or whatever, right, or coin. And that was something that when I first saw that, I was like, yikes, that could potentially be uh, something that would um, hit, hurt us later on, you know, if they decided to add a cash shop, which would be weird. Usually they would say something. Uh, but yeah, let's see, archives, it shows my previous record statistics. Uh, you can see here I have an hour 14 on Naya, 26 minutes on Claire, and 30 minutes on Helena. Uh, totaling a two hours and ten minutes of actual, like, you know, battle time. Uh, and so it puts me at about probably three hours of, I guess, total play. So, but it, now initially, there's a lot. If you, you watching this video right now, you already know so much. You, you, you know everything, uh, that I've learned in like an hour and a half of actual gameplay. So, so you get a little bit of a boost. Uh, but yeah, if you're, if you're picking this up totally blind and just going into it and having not seen this, which would be weird because we're talking right now. Uh, then, uh, you know, it takes about an hour or so to pick up. If you played Slay the Spire, probably a little bit, uh, a little bit less than that. Uh, just because you're familiar with the mechanics already. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, reach stage one, just here we go. This is my far, my farthest one has been 2-2, two, 2-12. Two, two uh, actually, I think this also means that, yeah, this also, according to this, this is, um, the farthest, this, I've only actually uh, beat the first boss once. I've lost to the first boss one, two, three times. <laughs> But it's a random boss, man. Sometimes you get shit ones. I've had good luck with that. <laughs> but that's it, guys. My name is Mike B. Uh, I didn't show, oh, show you the controller settings or anything like that. Well, anyways, you can go here and you can uh, 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 you can set the inputs whatever you want. So you can actually, if you wanted to, you could actually completely bind all this stuff to your controller if, if that's something that you're into. Um, but the controller does allow you to kind of move the mouse around um, or move the cursor around. Not the cursor, but the... Um, I guess, yeah, I guess just the mouse, like, or just the, uh, where the indicator is. So, like, card one, card two, card three, right? Like, move right to left, up, down. But you can't really do a lot of other things with this, so I guess you have to do some of that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. But hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike. We, this is the first Indie for Breakfast for 2019. Sorry. This is the first for breakfast episode for 2019. The game is called Neoverse. I wanted to show you guys a store page. That's what it was. You can check it out right now on Steam for... $15.29 if you act before January 16th. Da, 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 da. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you.